Hi everyone, just doing a quick demo regarding uh, a beginner's guide to Gantry 5 and Joomla 3.7. There's a bit of confusion, a few people looking at Gantry and just trying to work out exactly how it works and there's a bit of confusion with it. So I'm just going to do a quick demo on understanding how it works. Now Gantry is a framework that fits into Joomla. And it doesn't work the way Joomla people may think that it works. And uh, so basically, I'm just I'm not going to start from scratch installing Joomla. This is a version of Joomla. It's a mock-up version. It's 3.7. And the Gantry version that we have is Gantry 5. So I'm just going to assume that you've installed Gantry and you've installed um, the Hydrogen template um into uh, into gantry so you have a you have a choice of templates this is the hydrogen template which comes free with uh, gantry 5 so what i want to explain is how it works basically because there's a bit of confusion as to what way this works now the thing is that every page becomes like a, its own theme in itself and what happens is if we go into styles when we install Gantry, we have a home, hydrogen home, and hydrogen default. Now, if you go into, if you look at the home page, if you click on that and have it as a default template, this is what you get. You get your default, which is already populated. It's a demo page. Now, if we were go to, if we went in here and we switched over to the default Gantry, and then we refresh the page, this is what we get. This is the raw page with no information on it at all. So what if you want to not use the demo, but you want to use this page and you want to put some inf information on this page? Well, like anything, like in Joomla, you just create an article. So if you want to put some image on the front page, you can go into articles and add a new article. And this will be the this is going to be the home page for the front of the site. So if we call this home page and we put in here home page. And what we want to do is um, we want to make sure this is featured because it's going to be on the front page. So we click that as featured. Um, we don't need to. There's no categories there at the moment. So we can leave it like that for the moment. And then we'll save that page. Now, what we should see when we go to reset the page here is now we've created the actual home page for Gantry. Now, the reason why that worked is because we are on the default page there. And we go into styles. We're on the default, default page there. So if we go into Gantry... And what we need to do is right here we have the basis outline, which is the default outline for the f the, out the the page you're using. So we need to go into now we we selected default, so we go down to default, and default gets all its settings from the actual base outline. So if we, we click on default and we go to layout, you'll see that it's inherited from the base outline. So we can't edit that so if we want to make any changes here to this page to appear in the front page we need to go to the basis outline page now on the basis outline page the information that appears on the front page comes from this page content now if we were to switch this page content off we just come up there and we say apply and save and if we did a refresh on this page that content is now gone so if we want the content uh, to appear again, we just come along here and we just apply that. And then we reset here. And then we apply that and the content comes up. Now, the problem is, is that if you have added uh, sample uh, information on this page, and I'll give you uh, an example, I will come to, I will add another um, line in here and I'll put in sample content 
and uh, we will put in a um let's see we will put in some text here if we just type in here this is a test and if we let's save now so I'll refresh that page there we go we have this is a test okay so if you create another page so if you create another article and we'll add a new article and we call this um about us and we'll put in about us and that this won't be featured this will be on a menu option so we'll save that there and we want to create a menu option because we have the home option so we want to go to main menu and we want to create a menu option so the idea of using gantry is get all your joomla stuff done first and do all the formatting in gantry after so our menu item will be about us and we will select a single article and we'll select the article which is about us and you make sure that's that that's just set as default there and then you save so what we'll do now is go over to the website refresh and ideally what should come up is just the page that says um, about us so we click on about us and what's happened is the page about us has come up but that page content content has also come up down here and um, which is very um, which is not what we want we don't want that we only want this here and we're saying well why is that why is that coming up with that well the reason is because this page here is using the same default template as this page here and of course the page content that's in gantry the sample content will go to um default and we go to layout uh so we we'll go to base outlines and down about this sample content is on the same default page so if them two pages home and about us are using the same template well then they're still using the same information here which is not what you want because you don't want that appearing well you might want appearing but then again you might not want appearing on your second page so how do you stop that from from actually coming up well what you do is you have to create another template or another uh, outline as they call it in gantry that uh, and define it that way so if you go to outlines and it gives you your base outline default home page and error pages as well that you can actually select and just picture these as um, templates different templates and depending on which you want to select will depend on which one loads up to so if you go into your menu option and about us one of the options here is template style use default but if we do that we're going to have that information appearing on the about us page which we don't want so what we have to do is we have to create another template style which in gantry they call outlines that doesn't have that in it so we go to outlines and we will select click on the plus to create and then we can set a another default page but we'll call this default about us and we'll uh, we'll now create that page so we've created that page default now we can go in and edit that page now and we'll go to layout and down here it'll have page content but it doesn't have the sample data so the original page the original default page here had the sample content there which is obviously you can edit on base outline has the sample content there but the new page default us 
doesn't have the sample content. So what we need to do now is go back to the articles, select them um, or into the menu option about us. And we need to change that and select about us and then save and close because what we've done is we've created another a template style. So if we go into styles here, there's hydrogen default about us. So every time you create an outline page, you actually create like another template and you point the menu option to that and there's different formats that you can do. So if we reset this page, so there you go. So if we reset, reset the page and that uh, sample content at the bottom has disappeared, it's just about us now because we're using a different outline which is what it's called in gantry but it's like it's a theme it's like another template there and every outline you make will be listed down here so the more outlines you make the more they'll be listed down here so that's just a i hope that explains how gantry works it took a while for me to get my head around because some people might overcomplicate how Gantry works. So the first and foremost, the first thing you do is actually create your articles, create your menus, and then you can go into Gantry, and then you can um, do all the editing from there. Now, one thing I will say is the default page, the default page has very little on it here. Header, navigation, main, and footer. Where if you go to the actual home page. You have a header, navigation, showcase, feature, main, sub-feature, footer, off canvas for mobile use. You have a lot more features on that page. So if you're creating an outline, I would be I would tend to go to when you go to the plus when you go to create a page, instead of selecting default, I would actually select the actual um home page. Reason being because it has a lot more options on it that you can add more content and you you can see that the, by the difference by selecting if we go back into styles and we select the home page so if you go into the home page and do a reset after selecting the uh, the template this is what will come up and you can see you have a lot more features on the actual home page rather than the default page. So I hope that uh, gives somebody some information regarding Gantry 5 and how to get started. There's a lot more involved, but that's just a starter. If you have any uh, questions or if you have any queries or you like it, don't like the video, let us know. If you want me to do uh, more videos on this, just uh, leave a message below. Thank you.